Um, yeah, Billy man. Out there is Cloud. Yeah, Cloud, good here. So you should be good. Go for it. Okay. Crying out, girls get ready. And we're gonna go. Ready, set, go. Good work, Billy. Great, you got a bit of cook up there. Roger, right, just chill. Vertical, 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 vertical. You got a living room. No way. Good. Boom. Thank 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 God. Good work, Al. Good work, Al. Good work, Al. Good work, Al. Yep. Good. Now. Woo! Yeah. Good work, Al. Good work, Seven grand, six point five. Yes, good transition. Six grand. Put gas on a bit more. And cut. Cut. Woo! Good man. Hitting four grand, three point five. And open. Check the other guy's creek should be in my lap. You have a girl behind me. And you watch the uh, tandems coming out above. So they're going to drift. So you make sure DK doesn't fall through these guys. So he's going to open lower because he's on the tanner as I said on the previous jumps. So nothing yet. 2.5, he should be open a few of those clouds. Quite thin. And now in terms of leaning direction, it's going to be leaning towards, there he is, towards the ocean this time. Spotting, making sure everyone's good. Two green, pop the bikes. This left one hasn't been popping popular anymore. It's the right one this time. Okay, 18, checking the cab and the wind socks. Oh, the Kings Bobby, Craig's there. Uh, fucking these guys have forgotten that we're going to turn to uh, uh, do a main direction the other way. 15 grand. Oh, years, I'm going to have to open this. Oh, there we go. Let's run through it off. 1300 feet. 1200 feet. I might just do a 270 again on this. Oh, actually, I'm going to land over there. Dry, less of a walk. Nine, eight, seven, and here we go. Six, five, four, three, over the hump, and on the beautiful, nice landing area with tip my ankle in. Great jump. Nice work, guys. All right. <laughs> so. That was much better. So we'll have a look at both exits. Cool. So now you can probably go slightly less early. You can see you went real steep there as well. So let's see. Come back. We'll just watch your exit. And see you pull real steep. Yeah. That's what's diving in your way. I thought that's what I was supposed to No, nah, you, you just want to hop off pretty much just straight on an angle. And as you see me go steep, just kind of follow my lead and go with us. Whereas if you just go super steep, that's what's putting you away. If you went that same time, you can just went more on your back, like a back angle, that's going to, you'll end up being a lot closer. I think my brain hasn't engaged today. For some reason, I that's like all right. to go straight to head down. That's all right. Yeah, just try to match this. You'll see I will go to head down, but you can see the speed at which, which I'm going. Because Nelly kind of goes head down there, but it takes us like two to three times as long to get there rather than... So once you're in slot, you're in slot, like back, you're in slot, fine. And then that was really good, Nelly. And then when, as you've heard before, I said, okay, straighten legs. And now you can see how much more it's kept you a lot closer this time rather than drifting off as yeah, much. Yeah, that was a good reminder. Yeah. Good, Craig. And you can see, boom, so you flew more forwards on that one. Yeah. And now you're pretty much in line. Now, as you transition, you can see I can still see your chest and that's what's driving you away. Yeah. So you want to try and transition and have that shoulder down. So you're more looking, yeah. So you're more in this position now, just a bit earlier, and that'll stop you from drifting away. You can still see pretty much in line with me. Yeah. You may be a little bit behind because you can see Nelly is slightly forward, but the transition itself wasn't too bad. This is as you caught, then the legs pushed, and then the shoulder pushed, and then you re, uh, recovered it and then started driving back into us. This transition coming back over the other way wasn't too bad, but you can see how you've initiated a transition and held this for a bit longer. And that's what's driven you away, and then you've oh, transitioned. Yeah, me foot sort of, yeah, yeah, but you actually the angle you're on, you can see the torso doesn't really change too much. Mm. So that part of the transition's good. It's just as you're here, pop, 
but try to keep that shoulder at the right shoulder. This one down still that little bit. And then when you transition over, you'll find you're just gonna have less drift away from us. Came back quite good. And then it's just those legs less flapping with them. It's just gonna stop the um the wobbles as much. Let's see. So Nelly, that was quite good. So you can see the legs as soon as you've done that. Um, you maintain that closeness. I'm going backwards now. Let's kind of look around. So this is just after exit. Cool. A lot of it's just going to be those shins because we're quite vertical. It's going to be tricky to, to coordinate those shins. But once you're on, then it's fine. So now it's just going to be getting used to the three different controls. Um, the one controls is with the knees and the others with the hands. You'll notice what's happening at the moment with yourself. Most of you are controlling the turns with the arms. So there's a little hand movement, which is fine. So you have essentially front wheel drive like a car. And now we're going to get you rear wheel drive. So you can kind of steer a bit more with the knees like how you would on your belly knee turns and stuff. But with the knees, if you steer with the arms, that's going to kind of steer you like this, kind of like a kayak or just, uh, I don't know, fucking what you'd say. You're just steering with the arms, so you're steering more around this point. Whereas when you steer with the knees, it may start steering and you may start losing distance, so you might start going backwards. So you may have to lose more arms and accelerate more with the arms because as soon as you bring the knee in, you're going to cause braking here. So you will still turn, but you might slightly go back like that, right. if you know what I mean, because you're putting that brake on. So the, the arms, because they're more forward, it's going to steer you sideways, but it'll steer more that way. If you steer with the shoulders then, then it's going to be more of a banking turn and you might actually steer going forwards as well rather than, than um, sideways. So arms sideways, that's like a flat turn. Knees are kind of slowing you down like that. And then shoulders are more kind of banking and dive. So it looks like your shoulders and your arms are good. It's now just getting that control with the knees. And that'll stop the, the big washes. Right. Because once you're in position here, it's good. It's just yeah, a bit shaky and wobbly. So yeah, you can see there's a lot of reliance on the arms. See that little cupping, which isn't a problem. So I don't want you to think this is negative or lose it. It's now just experiment with the knees and see what happens with them. And then instead of having front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, you've got all wheel drive. So you can use everything at once. Right. <clears throat> so I'll go back so and watch that again. Right. Cupping's fine. Yeah, cupping okay. can work. So don't think of anything as negative or positive. Just mm -hmm. think of this does this motion, this does this motion, this does this motion. Because sometimes if you're forward and you need to go back and the turn's real, real wide, like you're on the outside of the turn and you start going like this, um, and you start shooting forward more, you want to, might want to put a bit of knee in, which is going to slide you back a bit. Whereas if you're back here and you're on the outside, you might want to keep your, your, your legs straight and steer with the shoulders, so that's going to push you forward more. Right. So I'm just kind of being able to use both. At first, that's why I say rather than thinking you have to do one or the other, just experiment and go, what's this do? And then subconsciously the body will just start adapting to that because it'll know, okay, I need it. it's like turning, fuck, I'm sinking out. Um, it's my knees, straighten the legs and then turn the arms. Or I'm going forward, why am I going forward? I'm using my hands, let go of them, use the knees or something like that. So you can kind of steer with both. Um, just watch Nelly's exit again real quick. The exit for you now look pretty good. Oh, yeah, he probably just... Oh, sorry. No, go on. That was my legs letting go again. Yeah, you probably just pushed too hard, I'd say. So where you're launching, rather than launching and really driving off the plane, just think of popping. So what's the, see the effort of how it's yeah. in? And because they're straight, they've gone from like, you, your legs might only want to go half as straight as that for stability. Okay. Because actually, you know, is it best to come out like a, a ball and then put Yep, you can do that too. Think about the, the torso, getting the torso in line with where you need to be, which is what you've done. You're right, man, go for it. So the torso is good, but now see how you've jumped up so it's hit the chest rather than just kind of popping off and letting, like watch if you watch Nelly's exit, yeah. you pretty much just mimic hers. Beautiful. And then you kind of fall down into it. Yeah, I'll get them. It's all right, I can definitely get them. Yeah, good, very good, very good. But once you came back down, it was in position, no problem. Was it you? You didn't get buzzed out when I got in there. Yeah, it could work not crossing over. Yeah. 
So I Working think. Working on not being a sheep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, not again. Worry, no, I'm getting startled. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I was happy. No. I was like, oh, we're all here. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So yours all could be uh, your flying skills there. What it could be is like like an excited puppy dog. Me? Yeah. That describes me. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they, they could be like, I'm doing it, I'm getting it. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm good, I'm getting it. Yeah, oh, cool. Fuck it. So it's just being able to then calm my mind and have the positive reaffirmation of like always, okay, I've got this, I've got this, good, I'm there. Mm. The second the questioning comes in, that's when the sla- lagging behind will go again, then you'll go back and then go behind and go back. So watch the inner thoughts. Okay. Cool. So, it's a spiritual journey. Yes, that. it is. <laughs> Cool. All right. Sweet. So let's do that same one again with those little little uh, changes. I'm going to keep that speed going to head down so that way, Craig, you still have plenty of time to get there. And that way, Ellie, you can now work on just getting off more on the back and then staying with us. Um, Nelly, that was great where you started accelerating more a lot quicker. So I keep working on that one and just being even more aggressive now. That's good because Craig's not coming through or anything like that. So that gives you all that freedom to, to start really being aggressive and come, come right in. Um, I'll remind you about the legs again as well. <laughs> Sweet. Um, there's going to be a bit of a shutdown. So, does any questions? So far, I just no? need to do more and more. Cool. Uh, we're going to not do these jumps again tomorrow. We'll do a combination of this stuff, but I'm going to introduce more shit as well. So, that's why I'd like to do at least one more of exactly what we are now to tidy those up. And then we can um, probably even go back through again tomorrow. Sweet. Cool.